In the vast expanse of the celestial sphere, a letter floats down from heaven. Penned by a soul named Ziyao, it carries messages of love and wisdom. Now we unravel its contents. Ziyao starts by reassuring us of his well-being in heaven and expressing his gratitude for the concern shown towards him. He shares about a certain Uncle Jesus he met, who asked him to communicate his current state to ease the lingering worries. Uncle Jesus commends Ziyao's actions on earth, particularly his final act, drawing parallels to his own trials in Jerusalem. He laments how the message they attempt to convey, one of love, often gets misinterpreted as hate. He reminds us of his plea to the Father to forgive the Roman soldiers, for they acted out of ignorance, still lost in their dreams. After going through Chinese textbooks, Uncle Jesus appreciates the disciples' rules, especially the lines emphasizing filial piety, caution, trust, universal love, kindness, and the pursuit of learning. He echoes the sentiment that love should guide our actions. Culture, he says, is akin to atomic energy. With love, it can power a nuclear plant. Without love, it can create an atom bomb. Uncle Jesus brings up the advent of AI, urging us to shift our focus from knowledge acquisition to learning about love. Once we master love, we are ready to graduate. He states that our journey to earth is for the sole purpose of learning about love. However, we often get blinded by the glimmer of wealth, falsely equating it with love. The actual equation is reversed. Love attracts wealth. He gives the example of Uncle Dong and Wahaha, who, out of their love for everyone, received love and wealth in return. He points out that physical possessions, such as money, houses, cars, spouses, and children, are not transferable to heaven. Hence the saying that it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter heaven. They need to shed their materialistic weight. Uncle Jesus recommends the Disney movie, Soul, as we are all like the character, 22, seeking our spark or soul mission on earth. This life experience is the true wealth we can bring to heaven. Ziao was Uncle Jesus' call to awaken. He asks us to remember the day he graduated from Earth School, March 10th, and to consider observing it as a day against bullying, or better yet, a day for Disciples Rules competition. He envisions an annual event in Kifu Shandong where everyone can share their experiences of learning and practicing the Disciples' Rules. He hopes to hear the melodies of the Disciples' Rules sung from Confucius's hometown next year. In conclusion, Ziao thanks everyone and expresses his love. The lessons from this letter from heaven are clear. Love should guide our actions and decisions. It is the ultimate goal of our earthly journey and the only wealth we can carry to heaven. We must awaken to this truth and focus on learning about love and practicing kindness. Remember, love is the true currency of the heavens. And with that, we close the letter from heaven, signed with respect, by Ziao.